Well, hello guys. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Big Fat Psychic channel. I am so pleased to be reading for you again today. In very sad circumstances today, okay? Uh, a lot of people like grieving over the loss of our Queen. Uh, I don't know, I spent all last night, you know, going to do wee loads of photos. I, I was editing them, cropping them and this, that and the other. Uh, I listened to about two hours worth of sad music, you know, that I could uh, pick out. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I decided to do uh, this because it's not just about the Queen uh, and the Royal Family grieving. It's also about you guys as well. Um, and a lot of you uh, are grieving. Some of you are angry. Some of you, uh, you know, uh, are upset or associating things. Many of you will have been through similar circumstances, you know, of losing somebody. Um, and then all the family connotations uh, as well. So it may trigger uh, some emotional responses from yourselves, you know, that are not quite the usual style uh, for you. Uh, you may have to, you know, you may have to face up to losses in your past uh, as well. Um, so you're not alone. Uh, everybody practically is grieving. Now, that's a lot of people on the planet, isn't it? So you're not alone. Uh, and as I said to uh, somebody uh, earlier, I wrote, um, if we can grieve together, then we can heal together, you know. And not in any other circumstances of losing a member of our own family are we able to sort of like understand and empathise and relate to uh, the royal family and their loss of uh, their dear mother and grandmother uh, and great grandmother um, and our queen. Okay, so, you know, just give it time. It'll just give it time and it will pass. And eventually, you know, I think what is a blessing is that once we see see the uh, royal family uh, getting on with the job uh, and you know returning to to normal which they will inevitably do okay uh, then that also so like gives us to permission uh, to to move on uh, as well okay so the queen's had a good reign uh, she was 96 she wasn't taken when she was 18 or 4 months or you know uh, 6 days you know, she's lived a very, very good life, uh, and she has, um, and she was content. She served the people, her people, us. She served us uh, without fault uh, as well, you know. I mean, oh, who on earth do you know that's, uh, you know, uh, been still employed after 70 uh, years? So, uh, yeah, we'll get on to Harry and Meghan in the next read. This is purely about what happens to Elizabeth now, uh, and... Uh, you know, see if we can put your minds uh, at, at ease. So I haven't practiced or anything, you know. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to get here. But if it goes up, if it, stay, if it gets put up, it's not going to be that bad, is it? Uh, right, let's have a look then. Okay, universe, can we help the, uh, you know, uh, everybody heal? How can we help people heal? Uh, tell us. Um, what was the... Uh, now, I used to call her Queenie, or Madge, for short for Majesty, okay, your Majesty. Um, but, you know, you'll have terms for her, like Liz, Lizzie, uh, Lilybert. But anyway, uh, so I just want, <clears throat> how how did, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I think she couldn't speak, to, speak at the end, you know. Right, okay, so how did uh, uh, the Queen, what was her thoughts? Uh, when she knew she was passing. Well, we've got a positive card here. Okay, so brace yourselves. Ah, oh, bless her. Ah, oh, bless her. <clears throat> so she'll have been uh, telling Charles uh, about his job and still to the last breath, uh, uttering uh, instructions, you know, uh, or giving advice, giving advice, okay. Um, she also requested that the family come together uh, and, you know, uh, get together and heal. And that does include uh, Harry and Meghan. I think uh, she asked Charles to look after Andrew, Prince Andrew, uh, as well. She had lots of ideas. She was still uh, spinning them off and getting notes taken 
to to the very end you know um that was her job and now she you know she was thinking of a new role for for her as well so you know this is a like a, a yes card so she did know she was passing away i think she'd known for a while it was due but you know there's a difference uh, between thinking you know thinking you will uh, and actually doing it so i think she died uh, happy uh, i think she knew that you know she had family there and that certain ones uh, was on the way uh, as well um i mean just to think you know uh, and at least she signed in boris's uh, least trust uh, as well you know so i, I don't think um I think she was chatty as much as she she could you know probably couldn't speak towards the end maybe um but to that point yeah she was she was still working still working good on you girl good on you hey you never get another one like you so um so that's as she passed away which makes sense because when Philip was passing away, uh, he was all he was bad about was the love of his life, you know, his uh, Elizabeth, um, and so that was really uh, emotional and all about love. Whereas I see now the Queen right up to her breath, as uh, you know, still continued to look after the country. And I think that will come out in a, a speech of Charles, you know. Uh, literally i think uh, something will will be said uh, about that that right to the end right to the end not a, a minute after uh, you know uh, not 10 minutes before right to the end so that's how it was for her uh, passing so what will happen to her now okay what will happen uh, to the queen now sorry that was uh, a of wands if i ain't showing you uh, what will happen to the Queen uh, now? So there are seven of ones here and I'm focused on energy, okay? Saving your energy, saving your energy. Right, so she's uh, battled uh, something, obviously she's battled uh, something. So I think, uh, you know, she's... Right, so what's happening to her now then? She, I think she's dealing with something along the, the lines of uh, she can see how pointless... Uh, you know, all these arguments and everything uh, where she absolutely uh, knows that now, you know. Uh, and so I think she's going through the phase that she should have, uh, you know, saved her energy. Um, she's probably, yeah, it's about, you know, God, wow. Well, it's about saving her energy. And I'm going to say like her life force, okay. Uh, she, she's focused on saving her energy so i think it left her very very uh drained uh, uh and everything you know i mean it was just uh and pointless trying to fight to the end uh, as well although that wouldn't have stopped her so she kind of sees you know that everything on earth is freaking pointless you know it's pointless why would you have a war why would you you know f fall out and do that to your family why would you do this you know it's pointless it's all pointless so that's what she's uh realized uh, uh as well and you know uh she, if she could say anything it would be don't put your energy into it don't put your energy you know it's all pointless so that's where she is uh she can see it you know she can see it clearly i just feel like she has i can't tell you how big the understanding is you know um save your energy you know 
pointless battles that's it you know save your energy save your pain save your heart you know just save it it's pointless it's pointless feeling the way we do <laughs> it's pointless that's all i get pointless i don't know if she had a, a conversation here i'm getting a pointif uh i think p o i n t i double f i think pointif I, i'm kind of getting a, a religious uh, connotation here so i don't know if somebody you know she oh she talked to about uh religion uh, uh and stuff uh as well come on, queenie there's only you to tell it how it is <laughs> pointless okay uh will she uh you know will she uh join philip will she join up with philip's energy will she join oh So I would say the universe is trying to explain to me uh, with the Knight of Cups that something's uh, distorted. So we believe in something, okay, uh, to make us, ourselves feel better. So we believe in something. So, you know, <coughs> could it be that, you know, you, you're uh, movie stars, you know, with all your cast hair and your crew, but yet after that, Everybody goes out and leads different lives, you know what I mean? But us watching the movie would think, oh, that's, uh, you know, that's all. We have no idea what's behind. So there's another curtain here. Um, so I, I don't feel like, I'm not, I'm not going to say no, but it's, it could be, you know, well, it's not, it's not a physical sense, so you can't see the body or this, that and the other. I think you will become one, you know, I really do. Okay, so you know, um, I mean, it's not a bad, uh, full on lie, you know, it's just, uh, you know, maybe something uh, that comforts us. So, what happens, uh, next then? What happens next, uh, for? Uh, the queen now she's passed what happens to her spiritually or dimensionally you know what happens uh, to her ah uh, she she'll be re reunited uh with everything and she's going to be very very uh busy up there okay she's very busy but there's lots of happy uh news uh as well and this is to come you know this is uh to come so i think uh you know there'll be she'll watch her she can she'll know her own funeral she can watch it you know uh and i think uh she she wants everybody uh to to celebrate a life you know i think that's what will also come out is that you know we're to celebrate her life and reign uh like no other so I don't feel like a like a big party uh, going on uh, for the Queen, okay? Uh, and she loved it, didn't she? And she loved uh, the Jubilee. I mean, that made her so, so emotional, you know? I mean, one of us, uh, each by each single, uh, we all have our love for the Queen. But that Queen, we love one, we love one person, and that Queen loved us all, okay? Uh, does love us all. So I do feel like, you know, she uh, she will be busy. I do feel like it, you know, um, maybe, I don't know, maybe they sort of like stay somewhere, you know, just to get sorted uh, out because, well, she's, she's caught on pretty quick, hasn't she? You know, it's pointless. Yeah, this is a celebration, okay? This is great news. This is feeling good. This is positivity. Uh, you know, this is like reaching out. This is like uh, good communication. Um, so, and I feel like she'll be up there uh, doing it uh, as well. You know, she's got, she's happy. She's happy. 
But I'm just wondering that, you know, she feels she gets chosen, okay? Uh, something about being chosen here. Uh, she gets chosen and, it, well, she's just over the moon about it, okay? Uh, she'll be over the moon uh, about it. So, yeah, I don't know. Good things. Good things on the F uh, for us to, uh, you know, honour our queen and celebrate her life. Um, and good news for, for her. Maybe she gets to come down sooner, you know. We'll have to look for another baby. Please let it be Kate, OK? Because uh, the next soul jumps in. So, you know, she the queen's gone for all her karma and everything. You know, she's risen, and not she? She is, well... I don't know, epithyny or whatever. Uh, you know, she's the top of the top, isn't she? Cream of the crop. So, yeah, I think, uh, you know, the universe is very pleased with her and she's very pleased uh, as well uh, because it's just uh, it's different to our thoughts here, OK? Uh, we've got little or no understanding. Otherwise, it would sort of, like, shed light uh, or give us insight uh, about how we feel now. So, do you know, take it from the Queen, right? Once you get over there, you realise... It's pointless, you know, it's pointless to fight with others. It's pointless to cause fights. It's pointless to, you know, uh, retaliate, okay? Uh, a lot of things that we do are, are pointless compared to where she is, okay? So, you know, I'm going to stop there uh, and I hope I've done the uh, Queen and the Universe <clears throat> uh, a, a job well done there, okay? Because I'm not saying uh, any, anything uh, negative, okay? I'm, I'm not so, um, yeah, pointless. I love that, don't you? I love that. Anyway, we're going to leave the uh, universe with the Queen's energy alone. However, uh, I'm coming back with you uh, for a Meghan and Harry uh, special on this, okay? Uh, I know some of you are gunning for them. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Anyway, guys, I'm going to uh, leave you on that note. Uh, I hope that gives you a better understanding uh, and, you know, take it as you want, take it with a pinch of salt, or take it that she is speaking, okay? Not her, but the universe, okay? I'm not on the phone to uh, our queenie, uh, I'm on the phone to uh, the universe. Okay, okay, guys, bye now. Bye-bye.